is up you guys this is mini superheroes today hey everybody jonathan here i'm on the way to lexington kentucky for lexington comic and toy con the big big thing this weekend is i'm gonna meet sam raimi the director of the toby mcguire spider-man movies so i am beside myself i've got brody aka true score on instagram on the other side of the camera i literally can't wait and i've got some cool toy lineups already happening so stay tuned and we're gonna get on the road to lexington all right, three and a half hours later, we are in Lexington. It's beautiful, if you like rainy weather. <laughs> and uh, we're headed to a place called Deviate. If you remember the vlog from last year came here and it left such a good impression that gotta come back again. So let's head in and check it out. Brody got what's called the best burger in town. And man, it looks like it's living up to it. I went with the chicken pimento biscuit, which was a classic last time. And it's looking classic this time too. All right, it was crazy out there, but we are on the floor now. The Lego hunt begins. Always exciting to run into a bunch of sealed sets right off the bat, but we got a lot of ground to cover, so we gotta come back. We'll see if anything there is worth picking up after we see everything else here. Check this out guys, 4726 Quidditch practice with the box, come on that's amazing. Then we've got all kinds of great stuff through here too, we've got the Django Fett construction figure, we've got the Skyline here, original land speeder, the very first Lego land speeder ever, leg printing on loop. And all this vintage Lego up through here too with the boxes. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> Got some pirates through here too. Vintage stuff with boxes is wild. That's that's as cool as it gets. Alright, so we've been here maybe like two-ish hours and we're already finding lots of Lego action. It's been a blast so far, but there's a lot more to see, so let's keep covering ground. So here we've got the original 2012 Batcave, 6860, and man, this thing is insane, right? Original Batcave, all the great minifigs, it's sealed, and it's 100 bucks. I think that's actually a pretty darn good deal. Come on, that's a Stone Cold Classic. It's from when I got back into LEGO Super Heroes, and man, it's a pretty good price. Okay, we just turned the corner, and wow. Oh my god, that is amazing, with the box. It does look like it's open because we've got tape on the sides and everything, but that is insane with the box. <laughs> my heart's jumping out of my chest. That is so wild. So of course, Sam Raimi is here this weekend, and it's so cool to see all of these Spider-Man toys mint on card. Uh, I literally don't think I've seen this many on a peg since I was a kid when they came out in like 2001, 2002. So that's pretty amazing. I mean, look at that. And it's as clean as they come, beautiful condition. And you got Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3 toys. So it's pretty amazing and pretty nostalgic to see. This is actually a really nice clean box. Wow. It's a very nice clean box. Is that sealed? It's not sealed, but it's all there. Can I see that? Yes, absolutely. Still got the sticker on it, the Kmart sticker on it. Some people, when they see the sticker on it, they're like, I'm out. I like the sticker. It's like a good error yes, reminder. Yes, absolutely. It was uh, built once and kind of put right back in the box. Yeah. Very clean pieces. Low mileage. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, look how cool Even this the is. Yep. With the spring in there. That is so cool. This one's sealed. I've got a couple oh, of these. These are sealed. Is. Remember those? <laughs> those are like the add-ons. Oh, look at these. That's still got a Wow. Add-ons. Let's, let's get those them. out of the box. Okay. <laughs> those, are, those are thinkers. TV van. That is so oh, rad. Got the roof that opens up. 
That is awesome. Look at that, folks. And these are the boxes that you you know you press in. Most right, of the time, right. they're completely destroyed. <laughs> Three ninety nine at Kmart. Yeah, Inflation pricing, right there. I love sets like these. Do you? Because, uh, like, if this came out today, this would just be a poly bag. Mm -hmm. It's white. It would be a whole box. 24 <laughs> pieces. That's so that one's sealed. That one's also sealed. It's a little bit newer, but it's sealed. Yeah. 2000, so I mean, mm -hmm. 23 so years old. That's a Bionicle, original. Wow. Hey, man, he's a Lego expert. Don't insult him. I'm just, that's the one Bionicle I got. <laughs> I, I think we got a little Pawn Stars thing going on. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Oh, man, hey, that's a Bionicle set, man. I don't know it's a, know it's a good cop, bad cop, I guess. Yes, sir. <laughs> It's not about strength. Light as a feather if you're holding. <laughs> not so light for me, man. I don't think so. That was unfortunate. <laughs> So we are in line for the Sam Raimi autographs. It's probably going to take about six months for us to get from here to Sam because he's talking to everybody. But I met Liam here, who's a fan of the channel, and he brought some insane stuff to get signed. So show us what you brought. Brought this for Sam Raimi to sign. They are classic. Oh yeah. We got Paul Blake Greedo to sign this. Is that sealed too? It is sealed. Oh, yeah. Man. Tom Kenny's gonna sign this bad boy. Have you got this for Warwick Davis. Perfect. That's great, man. Thanks for showing us. Everybody Appreciate it. Well, we've officially been in line for over an hour. We've got our Sam Raimi autographs here. It's fun because we're with friends. This is William. You've seen him as Doc Ock on the channel before. Brody's been in this whole entire video to this point. But uh, yeah, an hour long wait, but we're still here. All right, so fresh off the line of meeting Sam Raimi, he signed the set, it was amazing, he was amazing. And I'll have the full story later, just, man, he's amazing. So cool to meet your heroes. Hey everybody, it is Sunday morning. I'm headed to Louisville now, gonna hit a big antique and toy mall and then back to Nashville to give you the full recap. Okay, so I stopped at a Bricks and Minifigs here in Louisville, and then I went to Lou Vino, had these amazing, amazing chicken biscuits. So good. You can follow my food vlog. And now we're off to the South Louisville Toy and Antique Mall. This place is insane. So get ready. Your mind is about to be blown. Right, so we're here. This is like the biggest toy mall on the planet. So let's get inside. This is the mother load. We got Shang-Chi back there and it just gets better as we go down shelf to shelf. But the bottom shelf is where it's at. Okay, not that bottom shelf, this bottom shelf. Got Lego Dimensions, Batman, the Justice League Party, Egghead, Endgame, Batman with the Wonder Woman. I don't have that set, so I think I'm gonna have to get that one for sure. It's a successful visit when you have a bag that's as big as your torso. <laughs> but let's get home, back to Nashville, and I'll give you all the scoop. Okay, so here is phase one of the haul. Now that I'm back home here at Nashville, let's start with the stuff I got at Bricks and Minifigs. Now, this is an Aquaman that has the slicked back hair. I didn't have this version yet, so that's super cool. Got a Ben Affleck Batman, which I think could go up in value when the Flash comes out. I found Hobgoblin, which is definitely a cool figure. I found Snoke, which I needed for my Star Wars collection. We've got the Boxing Gloves Batman from the Lego Batman Movie Batcave and Scarlet Witch, who was only like five or six dollars. So that was a really, really good pickup. At Bricks and Minifigs, I also got the vintage Tipper Truck set. So I want to join the Tipper Truck army with Bricks are. <laughs> 
Also at Bricks and Minifigs, I found the Green Lantern versus Sinestro set. Now it's going to require a little rebuilding, but the Green Lantern minifig is in there, as is Batman and Sinestro. So it's a little hard to show off, but this was a pretty good buy at 25 bucks, I think. Finally, at the Louisville Bricks and Minifigs, I picked up a bunch of random Rebels. Now, these may not look super exciting, but I am in the process of trying to get every Lego Star Wars minifigure ever made. So I did need these six, and there's a Batman in here that has like a breathing apparatus that I needed. So all around, this was definitely a good pickup. And then the last pieces I got at Bricks and Minifigs uh, was this Shazam poly bag. I didn't have it yet, so that's pretty cool. Then I also got this Iron Man and Thor foil bag. Uh, these are from Europe. You can only get them in Europe. And I did think that these were a little pricey, but I don't think that I had these ones yet, so I had to pick them up. Now, everything else you see here came from the Antique Mall, the South Louisville Antique Mall. I got Sally and Nitro Aid from Disney Cars. Now, these may not be Lego, but this is another line of toys I collect, specifically the ones that are on the Desert Back, which is, you know, the Desert Backing card, because these were the first Disney cars ever released when the movie came out, and I have a lot of nostalgia for these from when I was a kid. I picked up this Lego Dimensions pack because it has a Robin and Batgirl in there that are exclusive to this set. Uh, What's exclusive are like the head pieces they used. And I did need both of those minifigs to complete my DC minifig collection. So I'm a little bit closer now that I got these two. This Spider-Man bump and go helicopter is super, super random. It of course is from Spider-Man 2. You could put batteries in there and it would like drive around, but it's sealed. And I thought that this was a pretty cool pickup, especially since I got to meet Sam Raimi this weekend. It's kind of like a cool little end cap on that experience. Another non-Lego item. This is the Traveling Wilburys Volume 3 book. Of course, one of my favorite bands because uh, of all the awesome musicians that are in this. And it's just sheet music. I have the volume one and now I have volume three to complete the set. I did pick this up at the convention. This is the Spider-Man and Dr. Octopus mech battle. This isn't particularly rare or anything. I just never bought this when it was on store shelves. So I do still need it for my sealed collection and I got it for a decent price. So that's good. Okay, back to the South Louisville Antique Mall. I found these Lego Star Wars Valentines. They've never been opened. I just thought that these were kind of fun to have and to add to the collection. I picked up a whole bunch of random minifigures. Now, these have the wrong hair, but these are the Grail Guardians from The Last Crusade. We also have uh, this dude from Original Harry Potter. at Sinestro, which is awesome. We've got some heads from Indiana Jones, one of the Shanghai gangsters and Short Round's head. We've got this knight, I believe, from Harry Potter. Just thought he was cool for four bucks. He's got a unique head underneath as well. Then, of course, we've got the Raiders of the Lost Ark totes gun. This goes with the original Kenner tote figure, which I have the figure, didn't have the gun, so that's cool. And finally, you've seen it in the background the whole time. This is a sealed Lex Luthor mech takedown, which is super, super cool. Uh, I did not get this set when it was on store shelves, so I still needed Wonder Woman and Cheetah from this set, and it's definitely good to add them to the collection. And finally, for my friends over at Columbus Vintage Toys, I picked up this sealed Free Kick Frenzy soccer set, which is cool, as well as this soccer set, which... I don't know if it actually has a name or not. It just is kind of like some bleachers for some fans to stand in. And I thought that those were pretty cool. I did get some trade credit because I traded in some Star Wars toys uh, that I was getting rid of for my collection. So these are very, very cool. Then, of course, we've got the set I got signed by Sam Raimi. We'll look at that in just a minute. And I picked up a sealed Bat Cave from 2012. I'm trying to go back and get every Lego superhero set sealed. And I got this one for $90, which is basically what it retailed for. Uh, so that was definitely awesome. Now let's talk about Sam Raimi as we bring the video to a close. All right, I never filmed the camera this way, but let's give it a go, try something different. So Sam Raimi was absolutely awesome to meet. Now, up first, I did the photo op and I made a custom Lego figure that I handed to him as I walked in. So I handed it to him and he said, wow, this is so sweet of you, thank you so much. Hi, I'm Sam Raimi, as he extended his hand. And I'm like in my head, yeah, I know you're Sam Raimi, you're a legend, but that's just the cool thing about him. He was so kind, so down to earth, very, very awesome. And I said, hi, I'm Jonathan. I'll have more time to talk to you down at the autograph line, but thank you so much for being here. It's a real pleasure to meet you. And uh, he said, oh yeah, thank you so much. And then we talked about the Lego figure a little bit more. And I said, yeah, I made a custom figure of you and I thought you should have it for your collection. Would you mind holding it for our photo together? And he said, oh, of course. And so the photo turned out the way you see it here. It was awesome. But it was a very, very quick encounter, maybe 60 seconds or less. So then my friend William and I and Brody, who of course you saw in the vlog, 
went down and we had to wait about an hour and a half in line to meet Sam. And the reason why is because he literally took two to three minutes to talk to everybody that got an autograph from him. So you did get a lot of time. Uh, everybody got a good experience with him from what I saw. And it was great. Now, when it was my turn to go up, uh, I went up and shook his hand and said, hey, I gave you the Lego figure upstairs in photo ops. And he said, oh, yes, I remember. That was so cool. Thank you. And uh, I said, well, it should be no surprise that I brought a Lego set for you to sign. And he said, wow, this is so special. And I actually asked him to sign it right here. But then he ended up adding my name to it. And he wrote, be kind to others across the front. And then he signed Sam Raimi. So there it is up close so you can see. The silver doesn't show up super, super great on camera, but it does look really, really good in person, and I'm super excited. Now the goal is to get Toby to sign it right here, Alfred Molina right here, and J.K. Simmons right here, but life is long, and hopefully I'll get to do that at some point in my life. Now the cool thing about meeting Sam is I got to share with him that, you know, I went through some tough things as a kid, and his movies really came out at points in my life where I really needed the messages in those movies. And, um, you know, for personal reasons, I don't really want to get into it, but I really did share a lot with Sam. And, you know, not everything needs to be shared on social media, so it's just something special that I want to keep between Sam and I. But, uh, yeah, it was a really, really special occasion, and he said, thank you so much for coming here and sharing that story. It really made my day. And, uh, you know... Not often in life do we get to tell influential creatives the impact that they've had on us. You know, if you're open and you have the relationship with your parents, your family, mentors, teachers, of course you can tell them because you see them every day. But it's not every day we get to tell actors or directors or people that made creative media that impacted us uh, the, how it impacted us. We don't get to tell them that every day. So to be able to tell Sam how his movies impacted me and helped me through dark times in my life. I think it was really special for me, kind of in a cathartic way, to acknowledge, you know, how these movies impacted me and helped me get through times that were hard to keep my head up. And for him, I, I think that he really respected that too. Again, there's only so much I feel that I need to share because I do kind of want to keep it private for personal reasons, but uh, it was really, really special. And I think he really genuinely took it to heart and it was really great to get that opportunity. So as we bring this video to a close, guys, I appreciate you watching the whole thing. It's been a great video. It's been so much fun to put together, and I hope you enjoyed it. But if you take nothing else away, I hope that if you know people in your life personally that have made a big impact on you the way Sam Raimi did to me, that you could take a little bit of time and thank them for the impact they've made on you. You know, maybe they helped you grow as a person. Maybe they help you learn a lesson. And hey, if you ever get to meet somebody like Sam Raimi, that's a creative that got to do that for you, I hope you get to share it too. But there are people in our everyday lives, our grandparents, our parents, our aunts, our uncles, family members, neighbors, teachers, you get the drill. There are so many people that make an impact on us. And I've made it a point to tell a lot of those people the impact they've made on me over the years because life is short. And I think that it goes a long way to thank people for the impact they've made in your life. So I hope that this video leaves you feeling inspired to go out there and, you know, say a couple of thank yous to people that helped you along the way. And thanks so much for hanging out in this video to this point. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. I hope you have a great one out there and be good to each other. And as Sam says, be kind to others. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.